welcome once, once again so in my last slide i have discussed about the marketing channels and this is part two and in this slide i would like to concentrate on the value networks now starting with it a demand chain management approach doesn't just push things through the system it emphasizes that solution consumers are looking for not what products are trying to sell them the concept of value network is very much important before understanding the value network we must understand what is the exact meaning of value in terms of marketing in marketing everyone is involve themselves either with some product or some services they involve themselves in business but the concept of value is something else if you want to convince some person or if you want to create an impression on any person in that case you must add on your value then only that particular person may be impressed or you can have an permanent impression in terms of your business activity considering the marketing channel where several level of people are involved to sell a particular product or services in that case the value addition is extremely important if you can add value to your work to your service if you can add add value to your day to day performance definitely you can expect a good return the role of marketing channel is extremely important considering channel function or the channel member function because they are mainly involved to gather information about potential and current customer competitors and other actors and forces in the marketing environment develop and disseminate persuasive communication to stimulate purchasing that is very much important and moreover they are responsible to reach agreements on price and other terms so that transfer of ownership or possession can be effected also place orders with manufacturers so these functions are extremely important as you can understand easily that these functions are basically the mandatory necessity okay now other functions are also there like acquire the funds to finance the in inventories at different level in the marketing channel they also assume risk connected with carrying out the channel work provide for successive storage and movement of physical product provide for buyers payment for their bills through banks and other financial institution oversee actual transfer of ownership from one organization or person to another so now the channel level considering the consumer marketing channel it is further subdivided into four level that is zero level one level two level and three level zero level means where the products can be distributed 
directly to the consumer in case of one level manufacturer to wholesaler then consumer in case of two level manufacturer to wholesaler then retailer then consumer and finally three level manufacturer to wholesaler wholesaler to jobbers jobbers to retailer and retailer to consumer now considering the industrial market in general it is to some extent related with the previous one in case of zero level manufacturer to industrial customer one level manufacturer to industrial distributor to industrial customer but in case of level two the manufacturer to the industrial representative from industrial representative that from that particular point there is two opinion one will go to directly to the industrial customer and another channel will go to the industrial distributor then industrial customer considering three level manufacturer to manufacturers and sales punch and then it will continue your its journey to industrial customer and another branch will go to the industrial distributor then industrial customer now the service sector channels service sector channels service sectors mainly uh, i think you have a basic understanding of service sectors but i would like to give you few examples of service sectors like schools colleges hospitals these are basically comes under the service sectors so market channels are not limited on distribution of physical goods products producers or services and ideas also face the problem of making their output available and accessible to the target population so service sector channels are also very much necessary considering school developed that is educational dissemination system or hospital developed that the health delivery system agencies and location so these are also comes under the service sector channels and this is highly important considering the presence of the customers and the requirement of the customer so today uh, in my discussion from my discussion you can understand the aspects of value network and the channels marketing channels so if you have any questions or any query you can directly contact with me through my email id and i'll discuss few more points in part three okay so thank you